Back to the coronavirus madness. These are five things I want you to try to avoid when you're at home. Now, I know that emotionally wise, we're very much unbalanced. I know that I had to close down two businesses. I don't even know if I'm coming back to a third. I know that spending time with my wife and my child and she's pregnant as well, everybody will have issues that make us completely commit in disharmony with our emotions. But there's also a good side. Why? Because there's a lot of shit that's going on that needs to come up to the surface to be healed. The fact that we are a family, the fact that in our partnerships there's all the things that you know some people are neglecting to, to do, to work on, to improve, everything is coming up. But these are the things that I really want you to try to become aware and try to avoid. Number one, overeating. Now, when we are emotionally unbalanced, the first thing that happens, especially when we are next to the kitchen or at home, especially in smaller apartments, but also bigger houses, is that most people go to eat. But just become aware. Maybe it's time for you to have your own schedule. Just become aware of that. That's number one. Number two would be not to dwell on negative emotions. And what do I mean? I mean the mind, the mental mind, and right now the whole 3D perspective of, of coronavirus is about being afraid. There's conspiracy theories and 5G and world domination, and why did they do this to us, you know? Most of us don't understand that the, it's a part of a bigger plan, and, and we need to trust in the 5D perspective, in the higher spiritual understanding of things, that something's going on, a change that we all wanted for a very long time. But if you allow your mind to always dwell on the negative things that are going out outside of your house, for example, am I going to have a job to come back to? For example, um, do I have to fire all my employees? For example, how is the world going to be? Uh, is the economy going to collapse? What about my pension? What about all the other things that are going on? What am I gonna do with my wife and child? What am I gonna do here? How am I going to entertain? All these negative thoughts. Become aware, because one of the reasons that this happened is for us to be stuck at home, for everything to stop, you know, the globalization to stop, the materialism to stop, and everybody will question themselves. Everybody for a while will become an introvert that will question their own thoughts and their own um, life decisions of how did I actually get to this point right now? What do I need to change? Am I happy in my life? What are the things, the issues that I need to work on with, with my partner, with my kids, with myself mostly? So that's the second thing. Don't try to dwell into the negativity. Next thing is try to avoid is screen time. Now, I'm not telling you to completely avoid it, but try to become aware. How much screen time am I getting? I mean, I'm not talking about Udemy and YouTube or learning new things on the computer, which most people don't do because of the emotional status that most of us are, are in, but how long am I allowing myself, my children, how long am I spending in front of Netflix? Just become aware of it. Screen time is not necessarily a good thing, okay? It's good for an hour or two hours every day, and you can use it in a creative way. For example, games or reading books on the screen is not the same thing. In games, you increase your creativity, you go back to being child, uh, you become more present because you're much more in the present uh, moment. You know, there's, there's a lot of good things that you can do on the screen as well. So again, just become aware, not too much screen time. Sometimes it's good to just go outside into the garden, if your country permits it, and just be in the sun in silence with yourself. That's also quite amazing. Next thing you want to try to avoid, is the body neglection. And what do I mean? Until now, we've walked a little bit to the car, we've walked a little bit in the office, you know, we went to make ourselves some coffee or some tea, uh, some of us were in the gym or running or exercising, now you're stuck at home. Now, it's really easy to become a couch potato. It's really easy to completely neglect. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of programs online right now. People are meeting, there's groups, there's yoga teachers that are broadcasting. There's a lot of people that if you need motivation to just exercise a little bit, and it doesn't mean you have to do a whole hour, and it doesn't mean that you have to start running around your house in circles, okay? Just a little bit, because that will get the blood flowing, and that will get you motivated again to do even a little bit more. Actually, your body is craving it right now. It's craving to do something. Why? Because there's a lot of tension that has been building up. There's a lot of emotions that you're, we're incapable of dealing with right now because we don't know what's going to happen. And one of the things that we like to know as human beings is what the hell is going on in the world, in our country, with our jobs. And once we don't know that, there's a buildup 
an accumulation of a question mark and the body wants to release that because the body is the one that is holding on to these things the body is the one that is holding on to the traumas and when we exercise uh, with our sexuality we can have sex we can play ping pong we can do push-ups anything to get the blood flowing and the energy moving i highly recommend falun dafa exercises Falun uh, Tai Chi exercises, the five Tibetans, which and Tibetan rites, which I do um, twice a week at least. These are really good for now and they're not that intensive. You don't have to have anything intensive, it's just that your body wants to move. So that's it, my friends. Become more aware of your eating habits, of your viewing too much screen time, exercising a little bit with your body, and your emotional state. The last thing I would say is work on your relationships. Make sure that there's not too much friction between you and the other residents of your house. I'm talking about your partner, I'm talking with your children, I'm talking about your flatmates, whoever. See if you can work on your relationship becoming more conscious. In other words, take this as an opportunity. Try to see if you can get some positivity into the state that we are stuck in and some trust because right now we don't have the higher point of view. We don't understand why the universe is sending us a message or doing something but we will one day and you will see this as a grand time of change where this is the beginning and i promise you maybe the changes won't be as big as we think not a 180 degree turn but i promise you that this is the beginning of something that is bigger and i think we all know this because something had to happen and this happened so there's a reason for that namaste my friends